Hey everybody! I'm excited to be here with you today and to share with you the proper ways to clean and care for your brushes. This is one of the biggest questions that I get asked and so I wanted to make sure that everybody knows how to take care of these brushes. So I'm going to go ahead and hurry and share this video over to our group so we make sure everyone gets a chance to see it. Hi! When you guys hop on, say hi. Let's see here. There we go. All right, so I have to know, we're what, four days away from Christmas now? So I wanna know who has procrastinated and still has shopping and stuff to do, and who's like the overachievers that's already done shopping? I wanna know. All right, now we're all set. Hey, Danielle. How are you guys doing? You need to do more shopping. I thought I was done like a few days ago and then all of a sudden remembered that there's still one thing I need. So now I'm kind of stressing out about trying to hurry and get this last thing that I need with so little time left. Especially because my kids are out of school starting Friday. Tomorrow's their last day of school. Luckily it's nothing for them. <laughs> but um, it still stresses me out. I'm one that likes to have all the shopping done like really fast, really early. Except that then my cute little five-year-old who's done nothing, nothing, but ask for a tablet since last Christmas. Last Christmas, his sister got an iPad, my daughter. And ever since she got an iPad, he is constantly begging for a tablet and telling us that's all he was going to ask for for Christmas this year was a tablet. And so naturally, we got the tablet, you know, on Black Friday, I think. And just this last Saturday, when we finally took him to go see Santa, he hops down from Santa's lap and I said, what did you tell Santa you want for Christmas? And he's like, a robot. <laughs> and I was like... What do you mean you asked him for a robot? I'm like, all you've wanted for how long is a tablet? I don't have a robot for you. I'm sorry. Luckily, he's my like super duper easy going kid. And so hopefully he's like, okay, well, Santa will probably just bring me whatever. I'm like, well, you should care a little bit what he brings you, but I don't think he's going to bring you a robot. Oh, well. <laughs> It's too late to make changes like that. All right, so I'm just going to hurry and throw my makeup on while we're waiting for a few people to get on. That's the beauty of mascara is I love that. Um, I feel like most of the time when you're hopping on live videos, it's kind of like, oh, we're waiting and there's not really anything to do for a couple minutes while you wait for people to hop on. And with mascara, it gives me just enough time to get my makeup on. And yes, I'm not putting it on even though it's, or I haven't put it on yet even though it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I figure that as long as stuff is done by the time the kids get home from school, that's a win, right? Got my Frenchie blush today. Frenchie and Sandstone are like my two most favorite blushes right now. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly clean and care for your brushes because mascara brushes, these brushes are really, really high-end, high-quality brushes, and so you want to make sure that you're taking proper care of them and um, 
treating them good. And if you do, they will last you forever. This brush I'm using right now, I've had this brush for, I'm trying to remember, I think about three years I've had this brush. And it is still like in perfect condition. So if you're taking care of your brushes, um, then they'll last you a really, really long, a really, really long time. So, just finish this up here. And so I've got our, I've got, I haven't actually picked the winners yet. We're gonna draw live like we did last time. So we'll pick the winners for days nine, 10, and 11. And then, um, like I posted earlier, I'm gonna leave day 12 open one more day. So I'll come on tomorrow and we'll draw for day 12. So I really wanna give somebody um, one of these restore brush cleaners. So I'm hoping that we can hit those goals and I can give one of these restore brush cleaners away to somebody. So um, if you haven't shared the 12th day about the mascara clutch, share that. I think the last time I checked, we were at nine shares. If we hit 20, then I'll give away that restore brush cleaner. So, if you haven't shared it yet, be sure you share it. All right, and I'm using trust in my eyebrows and under my lip for a little lip plumping. It's way easier than, um, what is it? Like lip injections or <laughs> those plumpers that like burn and tingle your lips. This is a little bit easier. <sighs> okay, so what do you guys wanna see first? Should we do brush cleaner first or should we do giveaway winners first? What are you guys most excited to see? And then we'll do whatever it is that you're most excited about first. I'll let you guys awkwardly watch me put on my mascara first while I await your answers. Danielle wants the giveaway winners. Well, naturally. You have a lot of entries in there, miss. All right, we'll do giveaway winners first. Maybe we'll do giveaway winners like intermixed. Maybe that will be fun. Okay, so I got my basic hack on. I didn't do any um, eye makeup or anything like that. I do have so many fun things planned for us, you guys, for next year. I'm gonna be doing, um, personalized styling sessions for um, helping you guys create personal makeup. So you guys can send me like um, what colors you like, send me pictures so I can see your skin tones, and then I'll go live and do um, customized personal styling sessions with you guys. And it will be really, really fun. We've got that coming up. I've got tons of great giveaways and um, customer appreciation incentives and stuff planned out and ready to go for you guys for January. So anyway, so I'm really excited for everything we have. <laughs> Thanks, Danielle. I'm just so excited for everything we've got going on. So for today, oh look, I did get the clutch for our giveaway. It's right here. I don't wanna like mess with it too much, but. One lucky lady is getting this beautiful baby. I just got it delivered yesterday. So it's all ready to go. So this Restore is our brush cleaner. Look at this ginormous bottle of brush cleaner. So as a point of reference, the brush cleaner that I have always used is Max Brush Cleaner. You can see it's like on its last leg here. And this one is 7.9 ounces and our Restore is eight. So you get just a hair more with the Restore, um, and we've got like a spray nozzle. What's great too is this has like no scent or anything to it, and our Restore brush cleaners, 
They come in, um, this one is like a tropical vanilla. And then there's another one that's like a cotton candy type of scent. So they smell really, really good and they make your brushes just smell good. And then you're, like for the next few weeks or month while you're doing your makeup, you get to smell this really yummy scent. So, um, so what's really great about this, I wonder if I can get close enough that you can actually see it, is this not only cleans your brushes, but it's actually conditioning your brushes. So it's not just cleaning them. A lot of brush cleaners have a lot of alcohol in them and they dry out your bristles and then your bristles will um, get brittle and break off. Um, and then a lot of cleaners, um, or I'm sorry, but this cleaner has conditioning agents in it. So it's gonna make your bristles stay really soft. One of the biggest things people tell me is how soft our brush bristles are, like when they, when you like come over, get a makeover, you order your brushes and you're touching these brushes, people like freak out about how just so soft they are um, <clears throat> and such high quality. So um, if you don't have a good brush cleaner yet, you always just want to make sure that you never ever submerge your brushes into anything. And the reason why is that your brushes up in here are, they're all glued together up in here, all these bristles are. And anything that can get up here, any soaps, oils, anything like that, that can get up in there that could work to break up that, that glue um, can lead to the bristles falling out. So if you've ever used like cheap brushes and you've been doing your makeup and you have like bris like the little brush, brush, brush bristles, oh my gosh, I can't talk. They come out on your face um, and you're like picking the little brush things off. Hey, Samantha, thank you. And um, with ours, like I said, I've had this brush for almost three years and I think I've had one bristle ever come out on my skin. And that's from really, I mean, it's having good high quality brushes, but it's also about making sure that you're protecting that glue. So you never want any liquid to go past this base part. You can get the bristles wet and wash those as much as you want, um, but this base part you always wanna keep dry. Another thing is after you wash your brushes, you always wanna make sure you lay them flat to dry. You don't ever, like I keep mine in this little jar. You don't ever wanna wash them and then drop them in the jar because all the water or soup, soup, my gosh, I cannot talk today. Soap residue is gonna um, drip down in there and it can attack that glue and start to break it apart. Um, what I really, really love about our cleaner is you don't have to go to the sink and get soap. And um, normally I would rinse my brush, put some soap on my hand, rub my brush in the soap, rinse it clean, and then you have to lay it flat to dry for an hour or so. Um, with this cleaner, what I love about it is your brushes are nearly dry by the time you're done cleaning them. So it's really, really incredible. So I'm gonna show you guys how this works. So there's two different ways that you can use this cleaner. You can either spray it directly onto your brushes or you can spray it onto a towel or a paper towel. So you could use either like just a clean white or just a clean hand towel, or you can use um, some paper towels if you wanna avoid having makeup stained um, towels. So I'm gonna show you guys both ways. So the first way, I'm gonna take my brush cleaner and I'm just gonna spray it onto my brush. And then all you have to do is take your brush on your towel or your paper towel and you literally just brush and swirl your brush on there. And if it's, got, if it's really dirty like this, I'll usually move to a clean part of my towel or paper towel. Cause you don't wanna be, if you're just rubbing it where you've just rubbed stuff off, then um, this brush was really dirty. I haven't brushed this brush in like a month. This is my personal brush. So, all right, so I'm gonna clean, clean, clean. If you guys see, all right. Can you guys see how much makeup is coming off on this? So we're gonna just brush, brush, brush. And now you can see as I'm getting down here, there's less and less like residue attached to it. Hey Jen, how are you doing? 
It's so fun to see you guys all hop on here with me. And now I want you guys to see how clean that is. And you guys, this is dry and so, so soft. And just perfectly clean, just like brand new. Isn't that amazing? Ah, you guys, I seriously love it. Okay, so do you guys see this end, how yellow it is compared to now our clean white end? So we're gonna take, this time we'll do it a little bit different. And I'm gonna take a clean part of my towel here. And this time I'm gonna spray the towel so you guys can get a feel for how that works too. So I just sprayed my cleaner on the towel. You see how yellow that is? And again, we're just gonna swirl the brush. Um, Jen, I already have tallied all the points for previous days, however, um, we have not picked a winner for the clutch yet. That's the grand prize and that one will close tomorrow. So um, any comments or anything on any of the past posts all accumulate up and count towards entries in the grand prize giveaway. So you wouldn't have a chance to win the individual daily prizes because we've already drawn for those, but you would for sure have a chance to win um, I know, right? Um, you would for sure have a chance to win the clutch, which is our big grand prize. All right, so let's do a little bit more here, just because this brush, like I said, you guys, this brush is so dirty. I am like so diligent about always keeping my brushes clean that I use on my customers, um, which also, you guys, Besides this cleaning and conditioning your brushes, it's also antibacterial. So it's actually going to disinfect your brushes as well. So you're getting rid of all that bacteria, which is huge, especially if you um, ever suffer from any breakouts um, or anything like that. So now you can see we're like almost clean here, almost free from any makeup residue. And I just keep kind of moving to new clean parts and now look nothing left and look how beautiful and white it is and dry and so soft now this brush is like brand spanking new Do you see that it's crazy now we'll do like a little bit more of a challenge here so this is my multitasker brush this is what I use for lip colors and my eyeliner and so I get a lot of dark um, and bright colors on it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take this end of my multitasker. We're gonna spray it good. You guys see how pink it is? <laughs> it's got all my lip color on it. And so I'm just gonna take, same thing, we're just gonna brush, move to a clean spot, and just keep on rubbing that. So it's so, so convenient. Keep it in your bathroom next to all your makeup. And if you start to notice that um, your, your bristles are kind of sticking together, you're starting to like visibly be able to see makeup on your brushes. I typically tell people like for personal use, you probably only need to wash your brushes. If you're wearing your makeup every day, maybe every couple of weeks, maybe once a month. It also depends on the oiliness of your skin. I don't wash mine very often, but that's because I don't have very oily skin at all. If you've got oily skin and your brush is picking up some of that natural oil from your skin as well, um, then you're probably going to have to wash a little bit more often. But when all you have to do is grab your cleaner out of your cabinet, spray your brush, and wipe it on your hand towel in your bathroom, or you know, if you keep like some napkins, or some paper towels or something in your bathroom. You guys look at how much pink just came off of this teeny tiny brush. Is that crazy? And now look at it. It's like perfectly clean, dry, it's ready to use. So even for like your eyeshadow brush, if you've got one eyeshadow brush and you are wanting to, you know, do a fun eyeshadow color or something, you wanna clean your eyeshadow brush in between colors so that you can you know, maybe you did a dark color, now you wanna do a light color. And then here's my multitasker end. This is just teeny tiny, but it's getting all that dark. This is what I use in my eyebrows and to do my eyeliner with. 
But look at how much color comes off of just this. I mean, there's like barely anything even there. And now it's just like new. So you can so quickly clean your entire collection of brushes. I'm just gonna grab my eyeshadow brush here for you and let you guys see that. Let's see here. I was trying to figure out which one is the most dirty. <laughs> All right, <coughs> here's our eyeshadow brush. So again, we're gonna spray our cleaner on there. It smells so good. It's like a tropical vanilla, so it kind of has like a coconut vanilla scent to it. And so we're just gonna swirl this eyeshadow brush in here, round and round, back and forth. The one thing you wanna make sure is you don't ever want to smush, smush your bristles. You only want to do motions that's going to keep them moving <coughs> straight. So you can go around, you can go side to side. Man, I should have brought a bottle of water over here with me. And now look, clean. So now you could use this on any color and you're not going to have any other previous color residue at all. And then same thing on this one. Our other little tiny end here. Now this one's harder to see when it's dirty or clean because it's not white ended like a lot of our brushes are. And so sometimes I'll grab this brush and I'll think, I'll grab this end and I'll dip it in a color thinking it's clean and then go to put it on and it'll have a little leftover color residue. Um, so just kind of give it a quick spray, wipe it on your towel, and you know you have that like assurance that you're not going to have any color residue moving onto your eye from the last time you did your makeup. Look at that. So now, and I don't know how long that just took me, but I just essentially cleaned six brushes, right? Because these are dual-ended brushes. So I've got all my brushes cleaned, conditioned, and they're all ready to use right now. They're dry, they're soft. So incredible. This bottle will last you forever. <laughs> Eight ounces. I mean, because you can just spray it on so you're getting only like just exactly what you need and you're only doing this every couple of weeks. I mean, really, a bottle like this will last you like a year. So <laughs> these are $28. Um, or like I said, if we get 20 shares on my clutch, the 12th day of mascara giveaways, if we get 20 shares on that post, um, then I will add this to the giveaways and we'll give away one of these as well. And um, this is the Tropical Vanilla set. The Cotton Candy one is out right now. Um, so this one, but honestly, like this one smells so good. This is what I would probably pick anyways. So, all right, should we look at how like dirty our towel is? Look at this, you guys. Look at how that, look at how dirty my brushes were. Okay, don't mind all this black up here. That's from like a hair dyeing client. But all the pink, all the contour, all the highlight. You can see exactly all my colors. Isn't that funny? So I've never, I have like driven downtown to the mall to get like my MAC um, brush cleaner for forever. Super like inconvenient and out of the way to drive down there and get it. Plus it's like $35 for this. Um... And I would go through it a lot faster because it's a pour spout, so I would pour it onto a towel and then use my brush. <laughs> That's okay, Danielle. And um, so I would go through this a lot faster. But how convenient to just add your brush cleaner to your makeup order and have everything that you need and don't have to go out of your way or pack up kids or drive clear to the mall or whatever. So anyways, I super love it. If you guys have questions about the Restore, just let me know and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. All right, let me go to our giveaway page. So, the ninth day of Christmas, oh, we already did nine. That was the Emerald City eyeshadow. Um, so we're on the 10th, we're on the 10th day of Christmas. Giveaway winner, sorry, I'm like bouncing all over the place. This was for a bare lip and cheek color. <coughs> Bear is like the color that I'm like living in lately. Um, where is it? Bear's the color I'm like living in lately because it is just like a soft, like mauvey pink. 
It's kind of a cool mauve though, which I think is why I've loved it for winter time. Cause it gives you that just like really soft, subtle kind of nude lip. <coughs> okay, so for that bare lip and cheek color, um, we've got 29 entries. So somebody can throw out a number between one and 29. And that will be the winner of the bare lip and cheek color. So throw out a number between one and 29. Don't be shy. Type a number in there. And then we will draw for day 11, which is a perfecter. All right, Samantha says number 28. And number 28 goes to Amanda Welch. So Amanda Welch, number 28, um, you are the winner of a bare lip and cheek color. <coughs> I'll tag um, Amanda in this video when it's done so that she can see that in case she's not watching right now. Okay, now for the perfecter, we have 68 entries. So I need a number between one and 68 for a perfecter. So throw out a number between one and 68. And we will pick our winner. And if you win the perfecter, you'll have your choice of either the blue or the pink perfecter. Oops, try to see. Comments, comments, comments. Okay, let's see, let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh, Daniel, are you cheating? Just kidding. There's no possible way to cheat from my like a chicken scratch. Number 19 is Danielle. So Danielle, you are the winner of the free perfecter. So you can pick either the pink cotton candy or the blue raindrop perfecter. <coughs> and message me and we'll be sure to get that out to you with your eyeshadow. So um, I think that's pretty much it. I've got all the entries that are available right now tallied up and on here um, for the clutch, which like I said, we'll do tomorrow. If you guys haven't seen the clutch yet, it's incredible. Um, let me show you mine here. So it's got this gorgeous, um, like chunky bronze chain on it. It's really like heavy, sturdy chain. And this is like just a beautiful leather. And then the sides has a gold um, on the little expanding part right here. So this is a magnetic closure, which opens up and you've got the soft, pretty dusty rose color with the gold. And then you've got a place here to store your brushes. And then here I'll usually keep my phone, my cards, things like that, if I've got cash or something I'm taking out with me. And then this side unzips and has got your makeup compact in there and mine has a dirty mirror. So you've got your makeup, your brushes, your clutch. So this is my favorite thing to take. Um, obviously this isn't something I would take out with me like shopping, grocery shopping with my kids. <coughs> but when my husband and I go out and I know I'm gonna wanna like maybe retouch my makeup um, I just need to have just like a small little clutch or purse with me. Um, and these chains, you can see, unclip off so that you can have it just as a wallet, which is what I do when I'm like out running errands with my kids, is I'll unclip the chain and then I just use this as just my wallet. So then you've got all your, your brushes and stuff in here. Let's show you guys how everything fits in here. So you could have your eyeshadow brush, your hack brush, in there ready to go. Oops, I just threw those in the wrong pocket. You could have these in here ready to go and then throw your phone and your other stuff up in here. So, 
super, super cute clutch purse. These are normally $115. They are on sale right now for $90. They're $25 off right now, you guys. That's like crazy. <coughs> so um, go ahead and like for sure enter to win. Share the post for the clutch, the 12th day of, of mascara giveaways post and for a chance to win. And then, um, like I said, if you don't win and you still want one, right now is the time. They are $90, I know, through um, until Christmas. I don't know if they'll stay on sale after. Um, I doubt it. I think they were just doing this as just a way for people because so many people wanted these for Christmas. So, um, there's our clutch. Thank you guys, everyone. Please let me know if you have any questions about our Restore Brush Cleaner and go share that clutch post so that we can get you guys all entered to win one. All right, thanks.